Good morning, boys and girls, and welcome to Shen Plays. I'm your host, Shenra, and today we are playing as Ireland in your opener Vesalis 4. This is the opinion map mode, and you can see there's a lot of people who are kind of orange. We have Castile orange, Muscovy orange, even Austria's orange, but yeah. And there's one little, well, two little red guys, three little red guys. Uh, Brittany, England, and Burgundy are all red. But the rest of the world, other than the orange and the reds, are pretty decent with us. There's not really that many problems out there. So this coalition, while big, is not really that bit, that much of an issue, I don't think. We have a truce right now until, well, three more years of truce. So I'm not really that worried about it. The Ottomans are over here picking on Ethiopia, which, yeah, that sounds like a fair fight. Just just go and ex-Ethiopia. Good job there, Ottomans. <laughs> I'm going to pick on the weakest neighbor I have. Um, he still has the same three rivals, so it looks like he does want to go to war with Europe, but he's not actively pursuing it, at least not right now. So I'm going to focus on getting people out of the coalition, and at the same time, we're probably going to uh, finish up the quality idea tree, and then we'll look at the next idea group we want to take. There really is no rush to get any of these. I think diplomatic might be a good one for us, maybe, maybe expansion. Both of them offer you uh, a new dude. Diplomatic gives you a, di a diplomat. Uh, exploration gives you a colonist and a merchant. They're all very useful. Um, and they both give you uh, plus two relations and plus three diplomatic reputation. Reputation has to do with negotiations with people. So they're both useful. I do want the extra relations. So we're either going to do diplomatic or expansion. It's just a matter of which one's more important. Um, the extra merchant would be more money. The extra diplomat would mean, well, we can deal with all of our neighbors a little easier. Um, and we're probably going to take another military idea pretty soon here. But yeah, that'll be in the somewhat recent future. Recent future, near future. In the meantime, England is still colonizing up here. Good job, England. England. And we are... Sieging up some shit down here in, well, wherever this is, I re land D, I re land D. That's where we are. I can read. Onward. And Ethiopia was next. Mm-hmm. Poor Ethiopia. Poor Ethiopia. They are the, <laughs> the Ottomans are the target of the coalition of Swahili. You get them, Swahili. You, you tell those mean Ottomans what for. God damn Swahili. What do you think you're going to do? What do you think you're going to do, Swahili? Really? Oh, the Ottomans have us as a competing great power now. Well, that's not good. Hmm. Oh, they will give us access, though. I'll do anything to get our relations up. But they also have to stop being outraged. So it's just going to be some time of peace, probably. Rebels in the Highlands. Um, I'll let my vassal deal with that. Shouldn't be a problem. Still no chance of rebels down here. Yeah. No chance of rebels anywhere. That's so disappointing. But, oh well. Ooh. Native exploitation. Sounds good to me. Aid the natives. More settler chance and more overseas income. Sounds good to me. How are we on overseas income? That's a good question. We're at 50%. 29 ships protecting the sea lanes for 96 overseas provinces gives an efficiency of 30.2%. Which is not very good, but, I mean, at the end of the day, what do you expect? We have very few homelands and a whole buttload of colonies. I mean, this is literally a buttload. And Portugal is trying to steal my dude. I don't appreciate that. Look at that. We have six out of the seven cardinals right now, and we only have one potential guy. But we're going to keep on him because, well, we can probably get him. And then we're going to go for Northumberland here because he's cheap. No one's really challenging him for some reason. Come on, Vassal. Go get him for me. I'm not going to walk all the way up there. Are you crazy? You cray-cray? You watch your goddamn mind. All right, let's do the Ottomans again. Stop them being outraged. Castile has embargoed us. Oh, no. Not Castile. Yeah, at this point, we can probably be peaceful for a long, long time. There is no reason to go to war with England, like, right now. Um, 
It's like Luneborg, the Palatinate, and Castile. Luneborg. Oh, they're not even in the coalition. Palatinate. And Castile. Yeah. Oh, Portugal. Don't worry, bros. We'll get relations back up. You'll you'll ally me by the end of the year, or maybe by the end of next year. You just gotta stop being hostile, dude. That's all. Okay, we're done with the Ottomans. We like them. I mean, they like us, but we don't like them. Oh well. Eventually, right? Let's go back to Sweden. Because they always need hugs. Keep your friends close, right? We discovered the Arabian Sea. Oh, yeah. Vajinagar, why have you not done Hindustan yet? Look at this. Why are you not Hindustan yet? You don't need Gujarat to form Hindustan. You certainly have Tech 10. So why haven't you formed Hindustan? What are you waiting for? Bro? I don't know. I just don't know. Uh, let's work on Poland a bit. Keep the emperor happy. Is he still going to be the emperor? Yeah. He has three out of the seven votes. He's going to be the emperor again. And he's getting real close to another reform, too. Hmm. Ten years from now, France can start integrating Austria. <laughs> I can't wait to see that. Super France. Because, you know, France isn't strong enough yet. They need to inherit Austria to really, you know, show their full potential. Vassal? Why are you not going to go kill him? You should totally go kill him. You know what he called you? He called you a douche. That's right. Not only that, he also called you a vagina. So you are. You are both. If you don't mind. Uh, let me bring over Senor Transport. Senor Transport, Senor Transport, and go pick up this dude. Let's go kill those rebels since he's not going to do it. You douche. And we got Papil back. Yay! Okay, you go there, and you go here. Perfect. Colony's going in. Very good. And Colony's going in here, too. Uh, not yet. Where's my dude? Oh, wow. He's still walking. Oh, my God. It takes forever to walk there. That really does take forever. Okay, max relations with uh, France. No, Venice. We maxed relations with Venice. All right, they're at plus 18. So they should leave the coalition. Uh, we can work on Savoy next. Yeah. Come on. Come on. Chinook has cord. Very good. Hmm. Conquer lawyer? No. Incorporate Northumberland. Oh, I'm working on that right now. Spread our culture to Lothian. I don't want to do that. But yeah, Northumberland, that's going to be 11 years. But, you know, whatever. We'll take it. Uh, some f free points when it's done. Sure. Could even get a statesman. Is there a statesman available? There is, but he's a level 2. Nah, I'm not going to spend money on a level 2. Actually, we can afford it. Hmm. Hmm. This guy is 63, so we're going to have to replace him anyway. All right. Statesman it is. And now it'll finish in six years instead of 11 years. Good. It cuts the time in half. Statesmen are so good. Have I ever mentioned to you that I like statesmen? And the Ottomans left the coalition. Yay! Now we just need them to want an alliance. What would make them want an alliance? Diplomatic reputation, common rivals, and trust us. You have a positive opinion of us. Hmm. Distance, negative 20. Neutral, negative 20. Not the same religious group, negative 20. Ouch. And they also say our army and our navy suck balls. But we can fix... Well, no, we can't. We're pretty much at our max right now. Look at that. We're at 56 soldiers. And he says our army sucks balls. Yeah. Irish army strength, negative 14. Wow. Hmm. Oh, the Ottomans are allied with Sweden? The Ottomans are allied with Sweden? Oh, I like that. I like that a lot. Oh, that's good. Hmm. Sweden, declare war on someone. 
Call us and the Ottomans in. That sounds fun. Huh. Loan come and do? Yeah, we'll deal with that. Whenever we have money. Which is not right now. Ow. Alright, on the boat. Kill the rebels. There you go. Back on the boat. <laughs> and back to Brittany. Pleased to be back to Brit. There you go. Oh, right. I forgot to mention this. Poland is at war with Bohemia over some, I don't know, some stupid piece of clay. And um, Bohemia is allied with Sweden, so Poland's at war with Sweden. And um, that's not that's not good for you, Poland. <laughs> he might even lose some imperial authority in this war. Maybe. Someone's voting for Alsis? Who the hell would vote for a one-province minor? Oh. One-province minor Frankfurt is voting for one-province minor Alsis. Because, you know, I guess they want a one-province minor to rule? Or I, don't, I don't know. They're crazy. Y'all are cray-cray. Out your goddamn mind. Oh, oh, yes. Flemish patriots, except Burgundy's gonna kill them all. Can we please get some more patriot rebels? Can I support patriot rebels? Uh, not alone? No. Uh, support rebels. Patriots. I can't because they've already revolted. God damn. Why can't you support rebels once they've already revolted? Shoot. Please succeed. Don't kill them. Don't kill them. Don't kill them. He's gonna kill them. He's getting his morale up to go kill them. God damn it, don't kill them. They just spawned. Don't kill them. They have so much to live for. Okay, max relations with Sweden. Let's go down to Castile or Portugal. Portugal still doesn't want that alliance. Let's do Aragon then. Aragon would take an alliance, but um, no. Just improve relations. Keep an eye on the Ottomans here. 23. I guess we can give them a subsidy next time they're at war. That might make them want to go. Oh, damn it, you're killing the rebels. Can you please not kill the rebels? see. Free trade or mercantilism. Ooh, mercantilism. Sounds good. God, that hurts. Ow. Okay, we're done with Savoy. And they may leave the coalition or it might take some convincing. I don't know. We're going to have to we're going to have to be good little boys for a while. could just go an ex-Munster. That might be a good idea. Problem is, that'll give us a direct border with Sweden, which will give us another negative 20 penalty. Instead of just being heretic religion, it'll be neighboring heretic religion. We'll go from negative 20 to negative 40 on that particular thing. But I guess that's not the end of the world. I just kind of would prefer we didn't do that. I think we'll still annex them. Yeah, just go annex them. Free diplomats. Uh, Holstein, maybe? No. Don't care about Lorraine, they're a vassal. Wurzburg. Let's do Wurzburg. Yeah, the longer we stay at peace, the more likely people will just leave the coalition on their own. 
like the Ottomans did. Portugal, you gotta stop being hostile, bro. Bro. Ah, aggressive expansion penalties, yeah. Rebels on our face. We're dead. Sienna left the coalition. Alright, we didn't even have to send the dude there. He's just like, eh, this coalition's boring. Works for me. And we're slowly getting our manpower back up. We're only getting 518 manpower per month. That is pitiful. That should change as soon as we integrate um, Northumberland. That should really change quick. Venice left the coalition. Good. Look at that. They're friendly. They're like, yeah, let's be friends. We can be friends. Do, 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 do. Portugal's still hostile for some reason. Ooh, Ottomans are at plus 29 all of a sudden. Okay, max relations with Aragon. Good. Another revolt and finished her. Wow, that's a lot of revolts going on. Damn. All my generals are dead. Damn it. Two, two, two. Well, better than nothing. Enjoy it. And diplomat. Where do I want diplomat? Um. Just give a gift, I guess. A couple bucks. There you go. Alright. Uh, Portugal, you're still upset for whatever reason. Ottomans. Uh, still not too friendly, are you? I mean, he just doesn't like us. At least not enough. Sweden, though, they're pretty keen on us. Muscovy, they don't care. Poland's pretty good. We could do Bohemia. Brandenburg, how are we over here? Oh, yeah, let's get them back up. They're at plus one, but they'll probably leave the coalition if we can get them up to, like, plus 20 or something. Probably. Oman declared war on Kara Koinlu. Ooh. Ooh. Oh god, Kara Koinlu is so fucked. Oman's allied with no guy. Oh, they're just gonna double team the shit out of them. Wow. Goodbye, Kara Koinlu. Goodbye. Nice knowing you. You've been great and all that stuff. And things. Stuff and things. Pork and beans. Oh, let's get Ferrar out of the coalition. That sounds good. Why not? Looks like England may have a change of government again, because they just had 13,000 pretender rebels spawn. So say goodbye to King Oliver Cromwell, and uh, let's see who comes next. <laughs> King Oliver Cromwell, that just sounds so weird. King Oliver Cromwell. National bank in trouble. Spend money or gain inflation. I'm okay with some inflation, because it goes down on its own. Yeah, it's going down. Not that worried about it. Insult from Alsus. I'm surprised. Why would you insult me if you're not even in the coalition? Your allies are shit. Why, why would you... Whatever. I shouldn't really ask questions. Just smile and nod and be on my way. Okay, Sweden pieced out with Poland. That's good. Uh, Munster, 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 Munster. It's going to be 16. January of next year. Okay, good. We should have a diplomat ready by then, maybe? Uh, yeah, we will. Good. What are you up to? Interest per annum. Stock exchange, cathedral. Yeah, those aren't very interesting buildings. 
So there's no real benefit to uh, the next level, is there? Level 18. No, it doesn't give us jack shit. So we might as well bulb some stuff. Portugal has insulted us. That is not good. I don't want you to insult us. I want to be friends. You and me, Portugal. Come on. Why is it before the war with the Ottomans, he was hostile? And then during the war, he was friendly. And then after the war, hostile again. It's like, come on. <laughs> come on, Portugal. Okay, so Poland had to release the Teutonic Order to get out of that war. Interesting. Are you still the emperor? He is, but just barely. The Bohemians are right behind him. And he lost 20 imperial authority by losing that war. Huh. Well, he'll probably just go back in and annex them again. He still has cores all over him. And if if um, if Grenada is anything to go by... Look at this. He still has no allies, no marriages, no nothing. If Grenada is anything to go by, the Teutons may not make any relationships with anyone. And if that's the case, they're just going to get annexed the first chance that Poland gets. Farrar left the coalition. Yay! And Hesse has insulted us for some reason. I feel like insulting you today. And the Hansa left it. <gasps> coalition war! Okay. Brittany has declared coalition war. Oh. Hmm. So who's in it? Burgundy, Castile, England, Brandenburg, Foix. Pretty much everyone who didn't come into the last coalition war because... Well, no, we're not truced out anymore. We're not truced, but... Yeah, alright. So the war is Burgundy, Castile, and that's about it. I mean, England's in the war, but... What is England going to... I'm, I'm going to go crush Brittany while we're here. And uh, we can go get London as well. I guess my vassal can go get London. Go on. <laughs> go get London, vassal. Be a good vassal. Uh, Castile has no troops up here. All right. Then allow me to send a couple... Well, not you. Give me... Actually, yeah, no, that's fine. Uh, one cannon and one soldier. Just go. Go. Just probably... Oh, he already finished coring it. I was going to burn it down. All right. Coalition war. And who are your allies? Because he's going to bring his allies in. Bring his, Switzerland and Aragon. All right. So the, the war is going to grow a little bit. Switzerland and Aragon will join. But we should be able to um, peace out Aragon and Switzerland just by, I don't know, surrendering or something. It shouldn't be a big deal. But yeah, go crush him. And let me put the speed down to three, and let's see what happens. Oh, he's running away. Oh, well. I'm just going to stand there and siege it up. There's no rush. Uh, France is going to go invade Castile, because that's what France does. Oh, Portugal. Poor Portugal. So Sweden's in the war on our side, of course. France is in the war on our side, of course. It's, I mean, I want to say it's a big war, and it is, but it's not as big as the war with the Ottomans. I'm, I don't feel threatened by this war, you know what I mean? Alright, so we can't start integrating Munster then. We're going to have to wait on Munster. That's too bad. There's Switzerland joining up. Let me free up a diplomat, because we're going to need diplomats here. Kind of weird having Brittany as the war leader. We should be able to vassalize them. In fact, that's probably the only thing we're going to do in this war. Because we can't peace out England separately. This is very interesting. You know what, why don't we call this an episode? We'll come back next time for this... What is this, the third coalition war? The fourth coalition war? I don't know. Coalition war number whatever. Um, oh. 
Oh, he didn't use the coalition as the causes belly. He used heresy as the causes belly. Uh, since that's the case, all he has to do is get 80% of the battles under his belt. But I don't think he—I don't think he can do that. Anyway, I'll see you guys next time. Have a good day.